Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to look at the collision sensor and the line sensor. So the collision sensor detects collision between objects. So between object one and object two, if there's a collision, it will give a sensor out and the parts that are collided. When this near miss is zero, the parts have to actually collide. If it's, let's say, 20 mil, they can be 20 mil away and the sensor will give an output. For an example, I have loaded in a robot and a sphere. So if we go into the collision sensor properties and select part one, which is a sphere, part two, which is the robot, and we'll have it at zero, so they have to collide for the sensor to turn on. So oh, you have to apply it on each object. Right. And we press play, drag these object so they collide. We can see that we get the sensor out. The Parts which are colliding, so it's actually link five of the robot that's colliding with the sphere, and it's a type collision. If we move it, we can see that part two is changing. To make it more visible, we can uh, use the highlighter, which is under here. So we want to highlight the part of the robot that's being collided. So we can do that. Let's color it in red. Okay. So now if we go and collide with the robot, the part that's colliding with the ball is turning red. And to show you the near miss, Go to collision sensor. I'll turn this up to 50. Now, when we're 50 mil away, we're about to see that the sensor turns to one, and we're about 50 mil away from link six. So, link six turns red, and this changes to a near miss. The next sensor we're going to look at is the line sensor, which detects objects within the line that it creates between two points. So if we go into view, you can see that it's made a line that is directly pointing up. So let's just move this to the side. and. Close and reopen the properties to update the start and end points. So we can see it starts at this x value, zero, and ends 100 mil up from the x value. The radius is how wide the line is. So let's say we want it 10 mil, it becomes thicker. The sense point is the location of the object it collides with. Let's change this to 300 to make it a bit bigger. Maybe reduce this to 5 mil. Now if we press play, bring our ball that we made Detects the ball and the lower and the sense point is the point at which it senses the ball. If you wanted to simulate a laser distance, 
measurer. You could use this line sensor. If we attach it to the robot and we update yes. So we want to measure how far this line sensor detects an object. If we move the ball into the line sensor, you can see that it gives values that are way too high. It's not going to be 900 and in the x away and 1000 in the z away from this point. In order to find the distance between the line sensor and the object that it detects, first we need to find out the position of the object that it detects and the position of the line sensor. Convert the position vector into x, y, and z values. Find the distance of this new vector and times it by the sensor out so it will read zero if it doesn't detect the object. And finally, put the result in a markup so we can see it in our simulation. So now if we run this simulation, let's move our ball, should see the distance in meters between the start point and the point where it detects the ball. If we want to output this result to the robot controller, we can make a output, an analog output, distance, um, make it read only, make it an analog output, change this to I don't know, two. Okay. And put this result to the output. In the virtual controller, I have just created a test signal called AI line distance, which is an analog input with a maximum value of two as well. And we can find our signal that we just made and link these together. Now in our controller, we can see that we get our signal value. That's all for this video. Next time we are going to cover the plane sensor and the volume sensor. Thank you for watching. See you next time.